Well, hey, good afternoon, guys. Jonathan here with Operation Contingency. Uh, it's been about a year since I did a last uh, walk around here of my 2018 uh, Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium. And um, in fact, a lot has changed in that last year. And I thought uh, probably a good time to come back out here and do a, do a walk around here. Uh, I'm right off of uh, Forest Service Road 210, which is one of my favorite Forest Service roads uh, that 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 there is for me to be able to um, to go off-roading on. Uh, it kind of takes me back to my roots. It's actually the first one that I ever went on, completely by hapstance, actually going up to hike uh, Hawksbill Mountain and um, decided I wanted to take a little bit of a detour. Uh, did in fact do that and, um, well, <laughs> got way off track and uh, it was kind of my uh, first off-roading experience that took about uh, 20 miles uh, down this Forest Service Road, which is absolutely beautiful. Surrounds uh, Table Rock Mountain, Hawksbill Mountain. It's just a, a, an absolutely lovely view. So um, I've got some notes with me here on the iPad. I wanted to make sure that I tried to get as much uh, accomplished, I guess, or make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, as I go back, as I often do, and look at some old videos, I realized that there was, there was quite a bit that I left out. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't do that uh, this time. And I'm hoping that the uh, the mic is picking up okay. It's actually fairly windy out here today, so uh, here's here's crossed my fingers and hoping that 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 actually happens. So um, I've recently filled out a gear project uh, web page that actually kind of lists out everything that I've got in my build, and I'm still actually in the process of finishing that up. There's a lot of things that uh, little odds and end things, you know, that uh, that you realize that you've missed along the way. So as I mentioned before, this is a 2018 uh, Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium uh, package. Uh, as you can tell, um, white in color, the Alpine white. Um, lots of other things that I've got. And another day I'll do a review on a trailer that I have, which is the No Boundaries, the Forest River No Boundaries uh, 10.5, kind of their Overlander package. Uh, it's got a wrap on it and some other cool things, but I'll do a review of that. Uh, at another time, uh, but that is part of kind of the total build uh, that I that I have. So to start with, we'll start with uh, the kind of the front, if you will, and work our way back. Okay, we'll start here on the front. Uh, one of my favorite products or vendors, I guess, is uh, Southern Style Off Road out of uh, Baton, Lu Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Excuse me, a little tongue twisted out here from all the flies that I'm swatting away and gnats. Uh, but their Slimline hybrid bumper, as you can see here, this Slimline um, provides great protection and great strength. Uh, within that, I've got the Smitty Built X2O waterproof winch that's got the 10,000 pound uh, synthetic winch in there. And then also I've got the uh, three quarter inch D-ring shackles. I believe those have a 42,000 pound uh, brake strength. In addition to that uh, Slimline from uh, Southern Style Off-Road, which uh, again, I absolutely love, it's got a, a 20 inch uh, HISE, I believe is how you say it, H-E-I-S-E, -E, which is uh, part of what actually comes from, or you can order from uh, Southern Style Off-Road. In addition to that, I've got their, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but it's basically the bumper cut here. Um, you can obviously do this bumper cut on your own. And, and really you're not providing yourself much protection, but Southern Style Off-Road actually does this bumper cut as well. Um, and it actually comes with some pieces uh, that you can actually attach, uh, covers up your water reservoir, uh, your windshield wiper reservoir. And it is, I mean, it is super, super sturdy. Uh, but gives you quite a bit more clearance or at least a approach angle clearance uh, on, on the sides there. In addition, uh, I've got uh, a lot of people ask me about these um, fog lights, and they're actually the factory fog lights, but they're the Lamex X, uh, just peel and stick. 
laminated, uh, you know, I don't know what you call it, but film, I guess. Um, and it is super, super easy. I, I am not handy at all. And I was able to, uh, to install these with relative ease. Um, literally took me not even five minutes to, to put these on and gives a great, great look. Uh, and, and a little bit, I, I like the, the color uh, to it as well. It does kind of uh, give them an amber look at night, which is really cool. Uh, in addition to that, I've obviously got the Raptor lights uh, up front here, as you can see. Uh, those Raptor lights, as we'll talk about here in a little bit, I've got linked to the ARB links, and those um, those are really cool uh, at night and give it a really, really neat look. Uh, in addition, I've got the kind of TRD badging. I think I got that off eBay somewhere for like 20 bucks. Uh, and then, of course, I've got the, uh, the flat link uh, rope, uh, or synthetic rope. Uh, shackle and then the uh, the rope guard which is that little silver piece there which basically makes it so that the rope is not exposed uh, to the elements on a, on a permanent basis um, I've actually only used that uh, the winch and the uh, factor 55 uh, once actually and it was uh, when I was doing the tat in Arkansas uh, a friend of mine got stuck in kind of a, a, a little bit of a muddy situation uh, and we were able to pull him out with I mean absolute ease and he was driving a, a Lexus GX 460 had absolutely zero issues um, coming around the side here I've got a Dobinson snorkel the uh, Dobinson snorkel, I've got a couple different Dobinson things in here, um, but the snorkel uh, for me was the right price point, and uh, it, it actually performs really well. I haven't done super high water crossings, uh, but I have done several water crossings, um, and it has performed absolute flawlessly. Coming down around, around the side, uh, I mentioned that I really like the uh, Southern Style Off-Road. Uh, these are their uh, rock sliders. Um, really great product. Really, really great product. Um, and the powder coating, in my experience with the Southern Style Off-Road, um, really, really holds up well. Really holds up well. Uh, and I've put it through its, its paces as well. Uh, coming down to the wheels and tires, I've got the Fuel rebel sixes in uh in bronze let me see if i can step out of my own shadow uh the fuel rebel six in bronze along with the bf goodrich ko2s the 275 7017 um i've thought about beefing those up maybe going 285 295 but i just if i'm being completely honest i don't want to get into a body mount chop uh and that kind of makes it a, a little bit nerve-wracking for me so um, i'm going to continue around the back here there's a lot to cover uh, that, that's new. Uh, this is uh, the hitch mounted tire carrier uh, from Detours of Maine. Um, there's a couple things that I am big on when I'm supporting businesses. One is local and another is veteran owned and the Detours of Maine guy is, uh, is an Air Force vet. He was actually an engineer and a welder in the uh, in the Air Force and so he kind of does this as a side hobby uh, but I will tell you this thing is is stout I've taken this um, a lot of places I mean I've done the Smoky Mountain 1000 on it Georgia Traverse on it uh, the tat all the way from here in in North Carolina uh, all the way to Oklahoma uh, hopefully continue to um, move that on a little bit further a little bit later and finish the whole thing up. But that's what I've got uh, in the back here and it, it performs flawlessly. Uh, the only drawback I would say to this is you, it doesn't have a lot of accessories that you can add to it. Um, so that's the only gee whiz, oh I wish kind of, kind of situation. Uh, moving back up here, uh, I'll talk about the tent here in a minute, but I've also got the, uh, the Wii Boost up here as well. A lot of people ask me about the, uh, the Wii Boost. Um, so yeah, it's the uh, OTRX, I believe. It's basically the over over the road. It's basically for truckers. Um, it's it's okay. I don't know that I would necessarily buy it again, to be completely honest. But uh, there it is. And then I've got basically some ditch lights, uh, my reverse lights, which are a uh, Light Fox, which are some Amazon brand that I got for like twenty bucks, um, and I've had them for five or six years with absolutely no issues uh, with those and uh, for what you get they're they're actually relatively bright so i 
Of course, as you come around, you know, you've got uh, the badging and of course the Overland Bound member. Uh, I think I am member, let's see if I can get it in there. 12,214 is my member number. So love, uh, love what Overland Bound provides. Uh, love the principles that they stand for. And uh, yeah, appreciate everything they do and, and have helped me out along, along my journey. So I'm gonna pause there, open back up the uh, the back. Well, actually, I'll try to do this one-handed and uh, and show you guys how easy it is uh, to really get this, this open. It's basically similar to a lot of your other ones, uh, like rigged or um, yeah, any of the other ones that you've had, but there you go. You can do it. Uh, you can do it one-handed. So I could probably get really sophisticated with it and do some welding to do a drop-down plate there for a grill or a little table or something like that. But um, yeah, I just haven't done that yet. I'm not I'm not skilled in that area. <laughs> Okay, so showing you around the back here, I've got some uh, Dobinson drawers, uh, the dual drawers that are actually here. Really good setup. Uh, I've had these in, been running these now for probably about two years. Uh, they are solid, uh, very sturdy easy one hand open they can lock but obviously i put recovery gear in here tools um, little odds and ends um, also got the orange box fab uh, right outside of greensboro here in north carolina again local and he's able to put in um, yeah the name operation contingency with uh, table rock and hawksbill which is uh let's see see if you can see table rock from here kind of right through the trees here yeah that's table rock right through there so kind of cool that they can uh, they can do that for you but basically these are some molly panels uh, where I've got a first aid kit basically an, an old IFAC in addition to that I've got the Blue Ridge Overland gear uh, attic I think is what they call it uh, you can just store some blankets up there some what else can you store up there you can store um, well, all kinds of stuff, blankets, coats, anything really. Uh, it, I think it's got like a 50 pound strength and it basically goes into, uh, let's see, goes into your uh, place's coat hangers, uh, screws in. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the Dobinson's drawer does come with a slide out for the fridge. Uh, the only downside to the slide out on the fridge, I'm six foot three, and when you pull this, uh, this fridge out, I can't even see all the way inside. So uh, being a pretty tall guy, I can't imagine uh, that anybody else would be able to look in there. So I actually got the Alucab slide uh, for it, which is really, really cool which I'll show you in a second, but the uh, fridge is a uh, Dometic CFX 75 dual zone. So it's got the fridge or the freezer. You can do both as the freezer, uh, but it's pretty neat. But the uh, the slide here is basically a pull out. So it pulls out just like the, um, the Dobinson drawer would, but the really thing that is, uh, that's cool to this, you can lift up and then you can actually tilt it down. So the cool thing about that is I can actually be able to, to see inside, which is really nice. So again, one hand operation to be able to push that back in. This is, get these stink bugs off here. Uh, if you ever lived in the South, you know stink bugs are prevalent this time of year, but basically just shove the, uh, the cording back in here Again, the drawers, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, just went golfing recently, so got some golf stuff in there. But in addition to that, uh, I should mention that, really quick, that Ryan, Ryan over at uh, uh, Mike Johnson, Mike Johnson Adventure Outfitters has basically done all the work in my car. And by all the work, I mean all the work in my car. And so he's really set it up really, really cool for me and really well. Um, so I'll show you here in a minute, but we've got a solar panel uh, along with the dual battery set up that, that runs all of the accessories. And uh, so everything's running off of there. And if we come over here, you'll see down here, maybe, well, the lighting sucks, I'm sorry, but basically there's a blue C controller down there where we can actually run everything uh, off of. So, 
that's kind of the rear there for you. Okay, one of the other things I failed to mention earlier are these uh, Easy Supply. Uh, these are basically magnets, like some super duty magnets, and you can put your drinks on here. You can put uh, spices on here when you're when you're cooking. Uh, but when I say they're heavy duty, they are freaking. They're heavy duty, guys. They're really heavy duty. So one of the things I want to do for you, one of the new additions that I have from the last time that we did it, before I was running the uh, Free Spirit Recreation automatic tent. Absolutely love that thing. Uh, literally just like, I think it was six buckles you undo, press a button and it automatically comes up. Uh, absolutely love that. Uh, was running the front runner rack at the time. To be honest with you, I love the tent. Absolutely love the tent. Zero complaints on the tent. Uh, the only drawback I saw was uh, basically having a wife that's five foot nothing. Uh, it's really hard to get the uh, get the tent up top. Really, really hard to get the tent up top. And so I was looking for something that was basically a permanent solution, and uh, found Go Fast Campers. Uh, as you know, there's a, a great wait time on these, but it is worth the wait, guys. It is absolutely worth the wait. As you probably know, uh, American made uh, or American sourced parts. Uh, they're made right. Um, uh, in Montana right outside of Bozeman I believe but I wanted to show you real quick how how quick this is to set up and, and when I say it's quick uh, it's quick I literally have not pre-staged anything I was just going to show you guys real quick how long it takes to set this bad boy up so let's go to it Come on, are you serious? I'm done. So that's it, she's done. Uh, there are some poles you can put up uh, to basically make it like a, a fly, uh, a rain fly if you wanted to be able to look out. But that's it guys, she's done. It, it literally takes that long and then to pull it down, I, I jokingly say to folks, uh, to take it down takes about twice as long. So it takes all of all of 10 seconds so it's a really quick setup really quick tear down it is a permanent mount situation i mean i assume you could uh you could probably take this on and off i'm not going to do that uh, but it does come as a uh, as a roof rack so you can get some beef bars they call them their beefy bars i think or something like that uh, that you can put up there and you can run those on the regular to basically create a roof rack and i think the i think it holds about 200 pounds uh, in addition to the tent, the, the beef rack bars do. But I, I found after having that roof rack, if I wasn't running the tent, I really wasn't putting much up there, if anything. Maybe a box or two, uh, but that was pretty much, pretty much it. Um, so this setup for me absolutely works fabulously. It, it does not get water inside. Um, when it rains, it keeps the water out. I've, I've taken it out when we were in Arkansas doing the tat and in Georgia doing the tat, uh, and it rained for a couple nights. Zero issues with it getting in. I mean, as long as you zip it down, uh, you're gonna have no, no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna come around and show you guys as well. Just wanted to show you how this was set up. Um, so obviously you've got the wind fairing that's up there, the orange, if you can't tell. I love uh, I love orange as an accent color. It's actually my college's, uh, my alma mater's colors. Uh, but then in addition up there, we've got the Renergy 100 watt uh, flexible solar panel, panel uh, that's up there. And that thing keeps my auxiliary battery uh, charged 100% of the time. Literally, uh, when I, some of you know, I, I travel a lot for work and I'll just keep it uh, out at the airport and it keeps that fridge running nonstop. Before I, w I had some issues with keeping the main battery charged with the solar panel that I had up there um, for a number of reasons. One, I think it was the, the battery. I had, a, I went through a couple of them and I had, um, oh, what's the name of them? The, the red gel cell type batteries. Um, I don't know, I just had bad luck with them. But these, um, this solar panel uh, is flexible and it is literally put up there with industrial strength Velcro. I've gone down the interstate 70, 80 miles an hour. It doesn't budge. Like literally it doesn't budge at all. Uh, so it's in there and it's, it's super sturdy. 
Next, let me walk you around uh, and show you a little bit. So lots to show uh, underneath the hood here, which uh, has been a lot of the upgrades over the last year that Ryan at Mike Johnson Adventure Outfitters has actually done, and I thought that's what, I, what I'd show you. So uh, since that last year, we've gotten the uh, ARB dual air compressor uh, that's been set up, uh, which has uh, worked flawlessly, really no issues. He did put a valve here. I did have some issues with some air getting trapped in there really, really good. Um, and he, he basically made it so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, then backing up is is really the uh, the dual battery setup. So I went with the um, X2 Power. They're a North Star. Uh, they're actually a marine grade uh, battery, and these bad boys are beefy. They're a, a 34 uh, group uh, battery, the AGM battery, as you can see. Let's see if I can get that in there. It might not focus. That's all right. Uh, but in addition to that, I've got the Red Arc uh, Power. Uh, source that actually makes sure everything is is working good and then uh, as you can see uh, we relocated we basically pushed back the air intake no I shouldn't say we Ryan pushed back the uh, air intake and made it so that this battery fits he said that uh, Toyota designed them basically so that it would fit really really well there without having to uh, to move a lot of extra stuff so uh, basically run that dual battery setup and I can if need be if for whatever reason the main battery dies um, I can actually be able to start off of the aux battery and if it drains for whatever reason too much I can obviously have the switch here where uh, where I can kill it if if I so choose so in addition to uh, running the dual battery and the air compressor uh, I've got the uh, you can see there the ARB can you see that what am I doing it's really hard to do two things at once but anyways you've got the um, uh, the ARB links, which is also in here, which I'll take you guys inside now to show you the uh, the ARB links. So next, let me tell you about the ARB links here. Um, I'm trying to get it in focus, and uh, it's having a little bit of a difficult time. But uh, the ARB links is a lot like the S pods. If you're familiar with the S pod, uh, and I really like the S pods, uh, S pod rather. Uh, but this uh, this one I, I particularly liked because um, it does a little bit more. So I can obviously run any of my lights off of here and turn them on and off. Um, but it also gives me other things like my speed, the altitude, uh, my heading direction. Uh, it'll also tell me what my main and auxiliary batteries are running at. So um, right now the uh, the car is well. I'm turning it off. Uh, it was just um yeah so it'll, it'll tell me sorry my brain is all over the place today but it'll tell me the uh what the battery levels are at and what they're looking like and then you can scroll through um i can actually set the air compressor on here uh you can just hook up the uh, the the tubes each each individual car uh god each individual wheel or tire Apparently I need an app and uh, you can basically set the pressure and it'll automatically uh, set them and, and won't go any further. You can also work with your uh, front and rear traction. Uh, you can work with your time. The other cool thing is uh, your pitch and roll. So you can actually set this to have an alarm so that if you uh, are, are rolling over a certain degree or pitching over a certain degree, uh, this will set off an alarm to let you know that, hey, uh, be warned right um, so you can focus on uh, actually driving instead of you know um, I mean obviously you need to be aware of your pitch and your roll but um, if you're getting into the danger zone this will this will alert you uh, in addition if you wanted to have air suspension you can actually put this on there and do all of that uh, but it is a really cool and, and neat function uh, that, that it has I get asked a lot about the pedal commander I mean a lot about the pedal commander um, and if you would like my honest feedback, uh, send me a DM or, um, yeah, I guess just as a YouTuber say, leave a comment below. Uh, I, I do think the Pedal Commander is fabulous for when I'm towing. Absolutely fabulous for when I'm towing. Um, outside of that, reach out to me and I'll give you some feedback. <laughs> 
So I mentioned up here, uh, I think in my previous video, the T-PAM that I have, the Expedition, Expedition Essentials T-PAM, uh, which I can put my GoPro up here if I want to record. I've got my Garmin InReach Mini uh, to be able to communicate with the fam. Uh, obviously my phone, but then it has... Uh, it provides two extra USB ports, which you guys know that uh, USB real estate is, is at a premium. And then I can also uh, put in my iPad here, my iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch, I believe. Um, and this allows me uh, to be able to run uh, Gaia Maps, which, which I do quite a bit. Um, when I'm when I'm off-roading and being able to watch usually I have a friend with me and uh, they'll actually run the map and the comms while I focus on driving which is uh, which is super awesome so um, and then over here I've got the uh, the Midland MXT uh, 400 I believe it is and this is the uh, GMRS uh, radio I had CB in my other one and ended up just nixing that but um, this actually does a, a pretty good job the range is good obviously you're limited by um, you know if you're in the woods uh, what that's like um, but the times I've been on the tad and off-roading with folks with friends um, I mean obviously if you're within a mile or two you're not gonna have any issues uh, communicating with them so it's it's really really smooth uh, from that perspective you know, I thought I might get asked, so I figured I might as well just uh, show you guys the uh, top of the GoFast camper here real quick. Um, I'm probably going to do a separate video on this uh, all together, but I thought you guys might like to just see a quick, a quick glimpse of this. So you can uh, put up the sides there to let some airflow in. Um, these do not come with it, but I got them from uh, Jazilla, where you can actually put the uh, rain extension poles and they just slide into the T-tracks there with some little clamps that provide a little bit of a rain fly, which uh, I personally love. It really helps, uh, in my opinion, with the, uh, the airflow. You've, of course, got the telescoping ladder on here, and then this is the inside of the tent uh, it's kind of a translucent top it's dark down there because if you recall that's where the solar panel is at um, but then the window goes all the way through the mattress is i don't know probably a i think they say a three inch it's probably more like two and a half inch yeah um it's it's fine it, it does the job uh we're not out here to glamp maybe some people are uh, i'm not i'm out here to just get away um, but yeah you can open that up get some great airflow across it's basically your nice wedge style camper uh, but the quality is out of this freaking world really out of this freaking world Y'all, I forgot one important piece. Uh, I forgot to talk about uh, protection underneath. So underneath, I have the Bud-Built Stage 2 uh, Overland Protection. Uh, Bud-Built is a company uh, here out of North Carolina, uh, right outside of Hickory in a town called Hudson. Um, great products, uh, all American made as well, uh, and really, really strong. And Jesus, you know what else I forgot? I forgot my freaking suspension. Uh, that's the biggest upgrade uh, outside of the Go Fast Camper. So this year, I switched from the Toy Tech. Let's see here. And got the BP51 Old Man Emu. Uh, with the uh, Old Man Emu upper control arms with the reservoirs. Uh, so I got those on the front and rear. Uh, these are ones that you can adjust on the fly. These bad boys are awesome. And I felt like right after they got installed, honest to goodness, I felt like I was riding in a Cadillac. <laughs> um, they are stinking sweet, man. They're really, really sweet. So sorry, you're probably uh, drunk by now with me trying to show you that, but I don't know how I could have forgotten. See if I can turn the wheel here. That should work. Give you guys a little bit closer glimpse. Nope, that hardly did anything. Closer glimpse of these BP-51s, these things. 
with the uh, upper control arms. These things are beefy as hell. So there you go. There you have it. That's the uh, most recent updated walk around 2021, uh, at least the February 2021 walk around version of uh, my TRD Off-Road Premium 2018 Forerunner. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I've got a few other things cooking of what's next. If you have an idea of what I should add, uh, let me know. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Uh, I've been contemplating uh, potentially getting this uh, wrapped while I love the uh, while I love the white color. Um, I've been thinking about some other things, so maybe let me know what well, what what you get this wrapped as. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate your support and your views, and um, see you guys out there on the trail.